When you open the app, you see all the photos. On the top, we have delete and make college buttons. In the left menu, we have options and the account settings. If you can't find the image, you can tap on all photos for device storage, Lightroom, Creative Cloud, Camera and Library. Tap on an image to edit. Before we go deep and start the tutorial, we must understand the interface and what we can do on the editor screen. On the top right, we have a few buttons. The first one is undo, the second one is redo, the third one is lightning button. This lightning tool will lighten the photo. The fourth one is the comparison option which will show you the original image and tapping on this button again will show you the edited image. The final button is the share button. Tapping on the image anytime will hide the buttons and the tools. You can zoom in and out anytime by pinching the picture. After selecting a photo, the first feature is looks. Looks is just like the filter in other apps. The app categorizes looks in my looks, free, charm, white balance, black and white, etc. All those categories contain over a hundred looks. You can also create custom looks and give them names and they will be saved in my looks category. The second new feature is lights tool. With this tool, you can add lights in the picture. The app categorizes the lights in light leaks, bouquet, raindrops, etc. In total, the app comes with over 85 lights. The opacity line makes sure the perfect light opacity. Let's move to the crop tool. The app has some built-in aspect ratios to make sharing more fun. You can crop the photos for a Facebook ad, profile cover, event cover, LinkedIn background etc. Also some of the aspect ratios are available if you want the size in the aspect ratios. The tool automatically crops the photo and gives you the perfect size. The second feature of cropping tool is rotation. You can rotate a photo in 360 degrees. You can also flip the picture horizontally and vertically. The last feature of cropping tool is the transform tool. With this tool, you can select auto rotate which will find the best rotation. You can also skew the photo horizontally and vertically. The next one contains a few tools. I'll call it the editor. There are four sub tools of editor tool. The first one is corrections. The second one is split tone. The third one is blur and the fourth one is vignette. There are 17 options in correction menu. You can adjust clarity, sharpen, luminance noise, color noise, dehaze, etc. The opacity line makes sure that you get the perfect color for your photo. The second option is the split tone. With this tool, you can add many colors to your image. The next option in the editor is the blur. There are two options available in the blur menu. The first one is radial and the second one is full. You can select a portion of the photo and make that blur or leave that portion and make the other area blur. The second one works perfectly if you want to blur the whole picture. The last tool vignette contains some rare options. It contains the amount, midpoint, feather and roundness options. You can play with these to add shadows, dark borders and darken the photo. All right. The next tool is blemish removal. You can remove blemishes from the skin with the blemish removal tool. For the best results, zoom in and find the spot. Change the size of the brush using the brush size line. Tap on the spot to remove the blemish. Moving to the red eye removal, we don't have any red eyes. Well, we don't have any eyes in the photo. We can try the tool on the monkey. The tool lets you replace the red eyes with nice black ones. The tool comes with two options. The first one is red eye which will remove the red eye effect and the second one is pet eye which helps remove effects from eyes of your pets. The next in the line is the text editor. The menu itself comes with four options. The first one is the styles. The style option comes with over 50 built-in text styles for you to choose. Tapping the text opens up the text editor. 
you can move remove resize rotate the label and change the text opacity the second option which is the text font contains about 25 fonts to apply the font tap on the label first and then tap the font selecting the color of the text is also part of the tool you can select any of the given colors or tap the first button to go to the color picker which contains themes and custom color picker all right there are over 80 stickers available to choose tap on the sticker and resize it as you want the last editing tool is the border there are over 30 borders available to choose from the basic ones are the first ones which add some beautiful border to the image there are some edges ones which cover the full photo while there are some frame borders which add a beautiful frame to the picture hold on that's not it let's create a college after adding the photos the editor comes up you can select the save size for the college change the style of the college and select the essential photos to come bigger then we have the photo editing option the last tool is borders and color change the outer and inner border and change the corner radius if you need the best part is you can edit the selected photos and once you are done then come back to the college maker with your edited photo let's move to settings and preferences you can select the image quality there are a few to choose from change the size of the image add a watermark if you want you can choose from built-in ps express watermarks or create your own you can change the size and the opacity of the text the image option is also available if you want to add an image as a watermark in the advanced menu you can change save location and file naming the last tool is reset tooltip which will show you the tutorial again to help you learn anyway that's all from me thanks for watching i hope the video helped let me know if you have any comments or questions like the video if it helped and subscribe to my channel for helpful videos.